Hey. Here at Candid Travels, Texas, we are wishing you a happy Martin Luther's King Day. You'll be seeing this after it, words. The day after, probably. But look at how it is right here. I'm driving around here in January of 2017. And uh, we might try to... I don't know where we're going to go, depending on the highways. It's raining, but it's beautiful. Uh, it's nice and warm. The rain is warm. I might go to the beach. So, uh, happy Martin Luther King's Day. It's a Monday. And we're just hanging out for a little bit. It'll be a little short little trip. We'll see where we end up. Hey, I just stopped driving and we're at Galveston Beach. I'm at a gas station. Well, once again, happy Martin Luther's Day King. Martin Luther's King's Day. Martin Luther's King Day. Martin Luther King Day. <laughs> to everybody from Canada Travels, Texas. And here's a quick tactical tip. Here's a belt. It's a normal canvas belt, right? You know, no problem. You can take this in any weapons restricted place. Um, however, uh, if you look closely, it's a knife belt. See that? This is a about three inches razor sharp with a, a saw, hacksaw here. And it's an excellent concealed weapon. Here's the thing. If you bring it into just legal disclaimer, you cannot purchase this uh, and order it in California or New York in, in the United States. Um, I think everywhere else is fine. But if you do carry it on an airplane, no one will know you have it. And the way the belt clips, it's like a regular belt. It takes a little bit to put it back in, but now that's back in. However, once you draw it, if you happen to draw it at an airport, or even if you're an off-duty police officer or an, you know a military, if you're, if you're in uh, Washington, D.C. and you draw it, there will be serious legal ramifications. So just want to let you know. So in a non-weapon area, it, you can get it in. But because it is a blade, uh, rather than like say a, a pen, a metal pen or something like that, or my fingers, as, as you know, we train you to be able to use your fingers to as if it were a, a spike, you know. But it's still different because this is an actual blade. So, but it's excellent for when you're out and about. It's very comfortable. See? It's just like a, there it is, I can unhook it very easily, right? It's called a knife belt. And you can get it, you can get it pretty much anywhere online. And uh, yeah, but just be careful when you are um, going into areas where it's legally not allowed. I mean, I, if, you, if they see it, you're in trouble, <laughs> okay? All right. That's it for now. Stopped here at Galveston Beach at night. Galveston, Texas Beach on Martin Luther King's Day. And behind me is the Hilton Hotel. Landry's. And he spin all the way around. I don't know if y'all can see it. I'm gonna try to go closer. You can hear the ocean. Uh, and the salt air smells good and it's so warm right now. All right, let's go down and do, let's go down and do our Phi Chi sticks. Another tactical tip, just put P-H-I, C-H-I sticks and you'll see what it's, 20 minutes of movement with this feels so good at the beach. Here at Galveston. I'm sitting on the bench. I'm sitting on the bench at Galveston Beach, spinning my Phi Chi sticks. Grandmaster Rob Moses, Uncle Rob invented this. P-H-A-I, S-T-I-C. K S, I believe. Phi Chi. No. P H I C H I S T I C K. Phi Chi sticks, alright? But uh, it's an ergonomic gear that makes your body coordinate perfectly. And look, look at the bench we're on. What is an estuary? An estuary is a coastal area, such as a bay, where salt water from the ocean mixes with fresh water from rivers. This mixing of the salt and fresh water creates a unique environment that brims with life, all kinds. Estuaries are incredibly diverse ecosystems 
that provide nursery habitats for 90% of all commercial and recreational species of fish. Estuaries are vital ecological resources to the local community. And here in Galveston, we have the famous Guido Seafood Restaurant, and that's why we have some of the best seafood here in the Gulf of Galveston. I call it that. But on the map, I think further out says Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> but we're in Texas, so I call it Gulf of Galveston. All right, let's go. All right, here's the stairway. We're going down. Woo! To the beach. Yeah. So we'll be doing this on our MLK Day, Martin Luther King Day, 2017. All right, let's go look at the beach water. All right, so here we are at the ocean at night. Oh yeah, you hear that? And it is, according to Allison, it looks like high tide! Woo! Here we are, you see that? Oh, oh In the yeah. distance is the, the Galveston Beach Pier. Much like the Santa Monica Pier, except it's newer and bigger. There's the Ferris wheel. Thanks for joining us at Canada Travels Texas. And those of you in the ITAC, ATX ITAC family, thanks for joining us and enjoy that tactical tips of today. Yeehaw! Here in Galveston, Texas, there is this thing that is kind of like an active volcano right next to Landry's. Let's see if it goes off. Is it about to go off? Is it about to go off? Is it about to go? I don't know. Let's see. Is it going to go off? Is it going to go off? Look at that lava right there. Wow. I'm not kidding. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Happy New Year. Lunar Loon New Year from Canada Travels, Texas here in Galveston, Texas. And happy Martin Luther King Day. I have a dream, Dr. King. Oh,